Here's a quick movie to show you how to make a simplified molecular surface that's got very decreased atomic detail. First I want to be sure I set secondary structure to CMS in the preferences and if I'm going to import more than one file such as the small subunit of a ribosome and the large subunit I need to turn off center to molecule but for this demo I'm just going to import one of the subunits so we should be okay. Click apply and close. 1FFK is the file I was asked to attempt and click fetch to import. This is a large file and I am on cellular internet on my boat today so it will take about a minute to download and to generate the first representation of the surface using the default settings for the coarse molecular surface. Just going to leave this on so you can see the amount of time that elapses in between. And what we're going to do then after it loads is I'm going to load a backbone representation so we can see where all of the proteins are because the coarse molecular surface we're going to generate is going to be relatively um, simplified, cutting corners through the atoms as it smooths itself out. We want to make sure that we capture the shape as accurately as possible. Here is that structure by default and first I want to just generate this backbone representation. We'll use the worm model and this will take another few seconds, um, probably up to 30 seconds to generate. It's got a lot of atoms to contend with to, to construct the loft objects. And it's also generated um, ladder representations for all of the RNA inside of the ribosome. So you can see that the, the default coarse molecular surface has settings that are causing it to shrink way too much to capture the, the surface. So let's puff that up and to make this work a little bit faster in real time I'm going to turn off the worm representation. Unfold our surface representation. And I've played with some values earlier, so let's set the resolution to 0 0.05. This is going to puff up the, the structure considerably. And then you can choose an ISO value that um, gives you the type of lumpiness that you're interested in. Let's experiment with some extremes. One. That's going to puff the surface out even more. I like it back where it was around seven or eight. And again, we can turn on the worm representation to see how well it's fitting to the original structure. And I can turn on x-ray for that surface. So we've got nice coverage there turn the worm back off for speed and if if I'm interested in smoothing this even more there's a variety of ways I can do it I can I can continue to drop the resolution um, to even try some positive numbers uh, or I can simply drop the grid resolution so let's try dropping that to around 12 I'll set a display tag so we can see how many lines we have and then let's generate a subdivision surface knock that down to just one and drop that coarse molecular surface into it so that gives us a few ways to control the representation of the structure, it follows the contour, and there are these three parameters and settings that you can play with in real time until you find something you like. And then, of course, as I did with the subdivision surface, you can modify that in many ways. 
or use that as a sculpt a starting point for for further smoothing if you want to sculpt and smooth down these these sharp corners that are generated by the default representation hope that helps